Uh, good evening everyone, this is Luther B40. Uh, just making this video to give you a short little warning about these uh, flashback arresters. Uh, when I built this originally, I filled the pipe itself from one end to the other with the, uh, the brass wool, like everybody tells you. And I, you know, and I packed it in there tighter, tighter, tight as a drum, like you're supposed to. Now, one thing I didn't do is basically the pipe was solid from one end to the other, but there's still a little air gap, still a little air gap right in here, and the air gap inside the fitting itself. Now, <clears throat> my son come over, and I'm showing him my flashback arresters and my bubblers and all the safety protect protection devices. So I'm lighting the end of the hose like you know, like you're not supposed to do, over and over and over again. And then I and I go to light it this next time after the last flashback, and it doesn't light. And I'm thinking, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at the bubbler; it's still going. And I go to light it again, and it don't light. And I said, you know what? That's burning at the flashback arrestor. So I reach over there, and just to see if it was warming up, and almost burnt finger about the burnt skin off my fingers and it had only been burning for about 30 seconds but what had happened was the fire stayed lit inside the air pocket or the space where the brass wool wasn't right here at the end so I just basically threw it in the bucket of water that you that you keep laying around and then unplugged the feed so it stopped feeding the fire and eventually it went out when I say eventually, I mean it went out relatively quick after that. But the problem is, uh, one of the things I didn't realize is that you can't have, as best I can tell, you can't have any kind of air pockets in here at all. So when you go to put on your fittings on the end, so like in these ones right here, these ones are probably the better design because your brass wool comes out to the end of the threads and then you only have like a little space right in here. But what you really want to do is you want to fill up all of the free space in here with the brass wool. So there's no place for the fire to occupy and stay and stay burning. Uh, my, my major concern about this in a vehicle is that if the fire was to start and stay lit in here, this thing would just keep on burning as long as you kept feeding it hydrogen. You know, I mean it wouldn't explode because it's burning it as quick as it comes in there. But everything that this touches is going to melt. So like if you got this laying in your engine 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 compartment it's laying on something important uh, it, it's not going to be important much longer after it burns up I mean this gets hot when it, once the fire is inside here burning continuously this gets hot pretty daggum fast and this is some really heavy gauge stainless steel coupling right here I mean what I'm well, I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, you can build these incorrectly and the, and I noticed that just you know, even when we was working and, and firing off every single time, uh, after about 15 or 20 times, this would start getting warm to the touch. So, I mean, there was heat getting put in here. So, you, when you build these things, you're going to want to fill up every single little space that there is with that brass wall. Even like, even when you go to get ready to put your fittings in, either on, over the end or in, you know, insert in here. What I ended up doing this last time is I pulled off both of these fittings. I filled this all the way up, even inside the coupling, I filled this all the way up to as far as where I thought the thing would go. Then what I did was I took the fittings right here and I filled them up as best I could with the brass bolts there, it's sticking out. So it's basically shoved the two together. Now, what that's really done is gotten rid of all my air pockets, all my air pockets on both ends. I mean the only air pocket you might have right now is right in this tube right here at the end. And I believe that that this diameter is small enough that it'll burn out too quick and won't be able to self self sustain in here. But I had basically, for all intents and purposes, I had a little reservoir that was larger than this output port. So, I mean, I believe this one is probably better better built. I mean, I mean, I haven't actually tore this one apart to, to uh, check it. I mean, the air pocket down here is going to be a lot smaller than it was on this one with the end couplings. But you're going to want to. You're gonna to want to pack this brass wool in here as tight as you can, and then you, and then when you think it can't take no more, add some more. Uh, from what I can tell, it doesn't impede, it doesn't restrict the flow as much as you might think. So, all right, well, 
don't mean to be a whiner and a current complainer. I'm just saying you might want to watch until you get a chance to really test your uh, flash uh, flashback arresters. You're really going to want to watch them close to make sure they don't catch fire inside internally. Because there, when when it, when it was burning inside, there was no visible. You could not tell it was on fire. The only reason why I knew it was on fire is I couldn't touch it. <laughs> I could, yeah, I could touch it, but I, I didn't want to keep holding on to it. All right, I apologize for wasting so much of your time. This is Luke B40 signing off. Uh, thank you very much for watch, taking the time to watch my videos and take care.